What's up, YouTube? This is going to be a guide how to use Dragonite and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, make sure you leave below in the comment section of the video and let's get into it. So Dragonite, if you don't know, is my favorite Pokemon and it's got so many movesets that you can use. So probably the one that you're going to see the most, that's the most prominent and works very well, is the Terra Normal Dragonite. Basically because you've got the move Extreme Speed there, which is 80 base power, and it's going to be going first. Now, a lot of the sets will either be running a typical sort of set like this. We'll start off with the Dragon Dance set. So we've got Dragon Dance to boost its speed and an attack. We've got Extreme Speed there, so it can go Terra Normal. And for coverage reasons, you've got Earthquake, and you're either going to have Ice Spinner, probably like Fire Punch. You can even run Roost on there too. There are some other options for that sort of last slot of move, but mainly you'll see Extreme Speed and Earthquake as the attacking moves. And it's very, very powerful. Um, and the great thing about it having Terra Normal is it's only weak to, uh, you know, one thing there. The item I'd probably run on it would be Heavy Duty Boots. That's quite a uh, decent item to run uh, due to its typing. Um, I have seen Lumberry on there too. And there are other, other like variants of items I will go over in, in a sec there. But yeah, this is the EV spread I've got on this. So Adam and Nature, of course, is very good because you got that straight up... Um, uh, 252 in attack, so it's going to be doing a lot of damage there, and the rest is going to be put in uh, in speed. So that's um, what you can do there for that. I'd probably go, if you want to go like a little bit faster, if you're concerned that mm, maybe after one Dragonette, I still might get out spared if I'm not using extreme speed. So you can opt for Jolly as well. Uh, there is a fair bit of like damage, uh, like uh, sort of difference there though, especially when you compare Adam and Jolly. But you know, Jolly is still good. Um, but I prefer to run Adam because a lot of the time you're going to be using extreme speed. So pretty much any steel types that come in, use earthquake against them. And, you know, any uh, ghost types and stuff like that, uh, you can use earthquake or ice spinner. Ice spinner is also good for like opposing like uh, you know dragon type Pokemon, grass, all those. Just just virtually a coverage move per se. Now, as I did mention before, you can run Roost as well. This is pretty good because you've got the multi-scale ability. So that's going to you know, get that multi-scale back, which is extremely good ability. So you know, this is going to be the ability most people will use. Inner Focus really isn't all that good when you compare it to multi-scale. But yes, that's what I would run for the uh, Terra Normal set. The one you're going to see the most. Um, that, that's going to be kind of the move set you see there. Let me just have a look at some other moves that you could run on this set. Just trying to think here. So you've got Iron Head. That's another move for like fairy types and things like that. But still, you're going to be still using Extreme Speed. It's going to be outclassing it. But uh, maybe if you haven't, you know, you've already terrored your Pokemon, it might be handy to have that. But uh, yeah, there's not too much. Uh, another Pokemon that might be able to get around this is like, um, just trying to think here. Maybe like a like a Gyarados or something. You might want to run Thunder Punch on there too for that. But we're sort of getting to you know quite specifics here. Um, as for Ghost type Pokemon, you you can still use Earthquake on them. It's still going to do you know, a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, probably Gengar would be your best uh, counter here. So if you've got something like you know Ice Spinner on there, that's still got a high uh, base power. You can run like Fire Punch isn't bad either. That does do a little bit of damage to like four times weak. Uh, Pokemon, um, especially if, you know, Ferrothorn does come back in the game. That's always a nice move to have on there. Um, you've got Dragon Claw as well. That's uh, That still stabs. You can run... The thing about Dragon Claw, it doesn't really offer you much outside of, like, you know, another, another opposing Pokemon uh, that's Dragon for super effective. So... I don't know. I'd, I'd probably go for Ice Spinner or like may maybe Roost, you know. But uh, you know, Dragon Claw can still work too. It's not too bad. It just doesn't really give you lots and lots of coverage. So that's going to be the set you see a lot there. Let's have a look at some other variants of the physical set. I've got lots of sets here. Dragonite is a very very versatile Pokemon. So the next sort of uh, move set we got here is Choice Band. So Choice Band is still a very common set as well, especially if you're playing like VGC and doubles here. So I'm still going here with the same EV spread. So we've got Adam and Nature, Max Speed and Max Attack Multiscale. We've got Extreme Speed. We've got still got the Terra Normal there. So Terra Normal, uh, Extreme Speed, Choice Spam does a lot of damage. I've uh, got a Fire Punch there, which is great for Steel types. We've got Ice Spinner and Dragon Claw. So this gives you 
it's it's very very similar moves to the uh, the Dragonette set, but this gives you a little bit more options here, um, just to hit harder with a specific, uh, generally a most specific move there that is super effective. Another item you can run on Dragonite for this too is Weakness Policy. It is a little bit more gimmicky, but it still does work. It just gives you an extra like boost on your uh, on your stat. So you know, say the opponent goes for a super effective move, you've gone for Dragon Dance, you get your Weakness Policy, and then you go for Terra. So that is another. Uh, sort of option there, but um, it, it is situational, so and a lot of the time you may just want to go Dragon Dance you know, uh, Terra Normal, you know, to get around that ice move or you know, whatever like that. So that's another move option and item option there for uh, Dragonite. So yeah, this is the one I'd probably see the most in doubles. These uh, these two and singles too. This you know is sort of like the best thing you can do there. Um, if you're concerned about like water Pokemon, you could run like Thunder Punch too. That is another option. Uh, it does have stuff like Aqua Jet, but th those moves are like you know they're very very weak there. So there's not too much you know point in even running those. Um, you've got stuff like Outrage. Outrage isn't that great a move. If you want to run a Dragon move you just run dragon core so yep they're very very similar sort of sets next set we're going to run a little bit of a uh, more interesting set here we got a special set so this is kind of made to work as a surprise on rain teams so for the purposes of the set i've put rain dance on it but if you want to run this along with pelipper uh you can and that'll you know set the rain up and you know get this dragon right going so in the rain you've got 100 percent actually with the hurricane you've got thunder as well and you've got hydro pump so we've got terra water hydro pump which is going to hit really hard you can also go terra flying too for a hurricane or you could even go terra electric too so that wouldn't that actually would be low-key uh pretty smart on a rain team to go for that uh that that terra electric because you know, obviously if you're running a lot of water type pokemon they are going to be weak to electric uh you know moves too so you get easy you know something that at least a swap in there which would be quite good but yeah there's uh, a couple of terra options there like whatever you kind of want in there so flying's not bad because that's going to do like a lot of damage too i've um, got damp proc as the item for rain dance to set that up but if you didn't want to run that you could just run I don't know, maybe like Expert Belt or something along those lines. This is more of a gimmicky set, of course, but uh, a little bit of fun. Now, multi scale is still still going to use there. Um, Inner Focus is probably the best in like doubles if you are going to run it, but it's not as good as multi scale. So most of the time, you're not going to be using that. But uh, if you really want to use it, probably best in, uh, in, you know, in doubles and that sort of thing. Now... Uh, a couple of uh, sort of options here. Let's have a look at this set. So we've got another physical set. This one's more of a trolling set. It is based around Dragon Dance, but it is based around flinching moves. So I've got the item as uh, Wide Lens here. We've got same EV spread. Dragonite tends to either run max attack and max speed, or I've seen... Um, I want to say this too. I probably should do this one. Um, you've got max health and max attack too. So they're sort of like the most common EV spreads Dragon not Dragonite run because it works the best. You know, it's uh, with the extreme speed uh, set here. It's very bulky, does a lot of damage. And, you know, it's, it's very tanky of multi-scale too. Or you've got Dragon Dance to free it up and give it a little bit more speed or whatever you're going, doing there. So that's sort of uh, what I would be going with, like a real competitive Dragonite. Um, once again, if you've got any more, like, competitive sets, let me know there. But that's probably what you're going to see the most. Uh, so this pure flinching set. It's a bit of fun. So we got Wide Lens there to increase the accuracy um, of the moves by 1.1 times. It's not really that much, you know, so 10% isn't a lot. So, you know, you're getting Dragon Rush into the you know, uh, mid-80s and stuff like that. So we got Dragon Rush there. Obviously, uh, that's going to be very handy. So Dragon Rush has a 20% chance of flinch. We've got Iron Head with a 30% chance. That gives us, uh, we've also got Terra Steel as well. Terra Steel isn't bad either because that means you can take an Ice move easy. You can take a Fairy type move easy so very very nice terror to go for there as well and uh, i've got rock slide there as well so you've got that flinching capability you can use this in doubles too if you really want to and i've got given it dragon dance to increase its uh, speed and uh, damage output so there you go a little bit of a trolling set there now drag rush bear in mind drag rush isn't 100 percent actually it's still kind of you know kind of bad but uh it is fun to use and it's going to be hitting pretty hard too because it is 100 base power that's the beauty of uh dragon rush but that accuracy, ooh, it's uh, really, really bad. But uh, yeah, you go ahead and try that. You could go into focus if you wanted to as well. 
but uh, multi scale is kind of nice, allowing you to get dragon ants up. And yeah, same EVs there. I've given this one jolly because usually when you're relying on flinching, you want to be going first. So maybe you know you might not able to get that dragon ants up initially, but you need that speed. So we've gone with jolly there too. But you can always go adamant if you uh, want to there too. So next set we've got here is a troll salt set. Now, this is based on a really, really tanky Dragonite. Dragonite can run, it's so versatile, it can run like uh, physical attacking sets, special sets, bulky support sets, um, a lot of stuff. So, I used to have this old uh, Rap and Toxic set, but unfortunately, they took Toxic, you know, out of the game and stuff like that. Or off a lot of Pokemon to learn, so that's uh, very unfortunate. But still, we've got a little bit of a fun today. But still, we're starting to get into real gimmicky territory here, but uh, this is pretty cool. So we got Roost and Rap. So Roost is very handy for a cover. We've got Rap. Uh, Rap is going to trap the opponent in there for four to five turns. However, I've got Grip Claw. So with the Grip Claw item, that's going to make the trapping moves last seven turns. So they will not be able to swap for seven turns, which would be really nice. And then you've got Thunder Wave and you've got Supersonic too. So Supersonic, keep them busy while Rap is hitting them. And you've got Thunder Wave on top of that too. So Parafusion and Rap on top of that and healing yourself off. Generally, this is just going to make the opponent like uh, very, very salty. So it does have its counters, of course. But if you want to make someone really salty, this would be a quite a good set. Uh, so we got max health and max defense. Careful nature. Uh, so a little bit of all-round bolt there to help Dragonite uh, lose some attacks and get the th uh, Thunder Wave down. So yeah, what you want to be doing is getting the Thunder Wave down first, um, and then you want to go for Rap because you're out speed. Depending on how much damage you do, you might want to go for a Roost after that and then go for Rap. But yeah, once you get the Rap going, you got seven turns. So that's going to do lots of damage in seven turns uh, for sure. And you've got... Um, it is 90%, so it's going to be hitting most of the time. Um, does It did actually used to get Whirlpool as well, but I believe it... Yeah, it doesn't have that anymore, so... We had sort of a start with rap. Uh, it gets bind as well, but uh, yep, doesn't have bind it. So yeah, missed out on a couple of its moves there. But uh, there's my trolling, uh, bulky trolling, flinching. Not uh, sorry, not flinching. I'm um, getting that mixed up with the other one, the uh, thunder wave parafusion sort of set there. So give that one a go. Next one we got. We got a straight up special attacker here with eject pack. So Dranite can. I mean hundred. Base and special attack is by no means bad. It's not like super broken, but it can run a nice special set. So uh, this could run uh, pretty well on uh, any sort of, I mean, as I said, a rain team, except you might want to swap out Fire Blast there. But uh, just a general team. So you've got Drake or Meter, which is 130 base power. And coming off uh, max special attack and max speed Tim and Nature, it's going to be hitting pretty hard. Now, once you get that drop in your special attack, Eject pack will kick in and it will eject you out of the battle, right? So then you won't be stuck in with negative two in special attacks. So the opponent can't set up on you. So, yeah, make that Drake or Meteor count. And then you've got uh, Hurricane, Fire Blast, uh, Steel Types, and uh, Thunder for a little bit of coverage there. So, uh, full sort of uh, special set there with lots of different coverage moves of your choice. But, uh, yeah, let's have a look at some more sets here. As I said, I can do... There's so many Dragonite sets you can do here. It's very, very... Uh, very, very good Pokemon. Now, we'll have a look at... Let's go over... Um, I'm trying to think of some good sort of like partners for it first. Let's do a couple of partners in general for singles and doubles. Uh, a great partner for it, in my opinion, there. If you are playing competitive or whatever you're playing... Uh, Goldango is a great partner for it um, because it, obviously it's resisting that fairy. It's uh, resisting that ice. So that makes it really, really good. You know, so it's, a, it's a great partner. And then alternatively, you can swap Dragonite in with Go into Goldango. If I come across any like ground type moves, boom, swap it straight in there. And, you know, you've got some other, you know, like fire fire moves and stuff like that as well. So, great sort of partner for it uh, to be running along there. I, I, I quite like it. I think it's very, very good. Um, another one you could run it with, trying to think here on the spot. How about King Abbott? That's not too bad. So, we've got King Abbott. Um, that... It's, it's kind of falls in the same sort of realms there. Uh, it's a steel type, so it can tank. Uh, well, it's not going to be not very effective, but it's still going to do a... Uh, it's still going to be a decent swap in there because then the fairy type has to, you know, uh, withstand a, uh, a steel type move then of swapping it in. And you can alternatively swap it out into Dragonite because it is weak to ground and fire. So that's another sort of uh, thing you can go for there and a resist ice and all those uh, nice things like that. So that'd probably be my two picks there for uh, the best Pokemon. Another one you could use if you are playing uh, even singles and doubles. Don Dozo is nice too. 
Uh, Don Dozo. It's so tanky, so it'll be able to tank like lots of attacks there. And especially if it's unaware, you can, you know, kind of get away with that. But Don Dozo is so good with so many Pokemon. But uh, there we go. Another one you could possibly use there. So let's go over um, some more of uh, more thoughts on Dragonite. I like to go on uh, lots of different movesets here. So let's check out. First, let's check out its physical moves. Let's discuss them, right? So it does get does get our uh, body press here. I let me see if we can get any. It doesn't get any ways of boosting its defense at all. So body press isn't going to be super good unless you're running some sort of support set. But that would probably be outclassed by other things. Now it does get Dragon Tail. So I have seen like a couple of sets like this. I've run a few of them myself. I'm just going to quickly make up like a, a, a big example set here. Uh, right on the spot. We'll make it defensive. So, with this set here, we've got like a Dragon Tail and Roost set. So, this would be good coupling it with a partner that has Stealth Rock. Uh, for example, Glimora wouldn't be bad um, if you were running this. Actually, it's not that bad a partner either because it's going to resist those fairy type moves. Four times weak to ground, boom, straight into Dragonite. So not a bad uh, sort of, uh, you know, partner there either. So you've got Dragon Tower La Roost, and then you could give it some other status moves. I'm just trying to think. I'm just thinking this right on the spot here. Look, you could even go, look, you could just even make it like be a complete like screening set. That would be, uh, that would actually be quite good. It doesn't get Reflect, so we have a light screen. That actually isn't all that bad. So got light screen, and we'll just have a physical moves it's got here. So I can't really do any the fairy. Uh, let's have a look at we get raw here. Used to get I think it used to get raw, but uh, whirlwind. How about whirlwind? I didn't get whirlwind either. So, yep. So we got some sort of like a phasing sort of set going on here, and yeah, you sort of just phasing out the uh, opponent and then roosting off. Probably leftovers would be the item to go for there. So you got some bulk with a light screen. You, you could go light clay as well if you want to keep that uh, light screen going for longer. That could be an option you can go for here. Uh, you could just give it Iron Head if you want a way to hit. If you're really worried about Fairy type Pokemon, that is a, an option you could use there too. So yeah, you could put Iron Head on there. But this is more of like a support set. So I probably wouldn't be keeping this in against Fairy type Pokemon. So. There you go. That's an option you could uh, use. As for tearing, uh, I don't know if I'd probably tear this Pokemon. Uh, if you wanted to really tear it, I'd probably go Terra. Terra Steel wouldn't be you know, a bad sort of uh, Terra type on there. But you've got sort of like a bulky Dragon Tail set. I also ran one like this. It's not probably as good because you've got you're giving up Roost, but it's like a Rest Sleep Talk set, and you could you know sleep off and then go for Dragon Tails and you know stuff like that. So there's another option you can use it if you're worried about status and uh, things like that. But when you run Rest and Sleep Talk, it does come up to a bit of luck when you, you're you rolling those uh, Sleep Talks there. But uh, yeah, there's a, another set for you or a little bit of an idea on a set you might be able to use it as a, um, like a uh, phaser, a Stealth Rock uh, sort of partner there. Now let's have a look at some more of these. Uh, I've gone over most of these moves here. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing to else that it could use. I was thinking you could go like a Terra Facade set with uh, Flame War, but that would not like lock you into that would lock you into using Facade there, which probably wouldn't be as good if a you know Ice type came along there. Let's go over some of its status moves here. Once again, if you got any sets, let me know about them. So it does get okay, that's not bad it so you could you could possibly go full utility here with Tailwind, so that's another sort of good move there to use. Probably not with, not so good with Dragon Tail, because that'll sort of like negate it, but you could have a Tailwind there. I'm trying to think of something that would be good. You've got Tailwind and Roost, and you could go Extreme Speed. Extreme Speed is just like for damage if you're going to go Terra, but not so good with Tailwind. Um, yeah, and you could go some other sort of moves there. So we've got like a uh, Dragon Claw. You could just give it some like just coverage moves and stuff like that and make it bulky and defensive. Or you could go like special defensive, you know, that could uh, definitely work at the same time there too. If you want like a, a Tailwind Setter or something, uh, something like that, that could, uh, that could definitely, uh, definitely work for sure there. Probably give it like, um or something like that. But yeah, that's another idea you could go for uh, Dragonite. If you're looking for something a little bit different, uh, for sure. Let me type that in. There's always like lots to do with this Pokemon. And uh, I have to say, there's there are a couple of moves that lost too, which was kind of kind of bad, which sort of sucks there. But uh, 
Here's another set that you could use too. I'm just thinking about something. So you got like Chilling Water. That's quite a good move that can learn there. So you can make this like really annoying bulky Dragonite, like super bulky. I quite, um, we go special. This wouldn't, okay, this would be quite good. I'm gonna go careful nature here. I know that Chilling Water is a special move, but you only really got it to drop the, uh, you know, the um, attack of the Pokemon. So, um, I wish you could learn Magic Room. So we got Dragon. This is like a little bit of a more of a build on that, um, on that uh, set that I did earlier on there. So this could be quite cool. So you got uh, Chilling Water to drop the opponent's attack, and you've given you've made it really bulky. So this could be nice. So you could have like Stealth Rock spikes on the field from. Uh, Whatever uh, Pokemon you have your choice there. As I said, you know, you can even Toxic Spikes from Glimora, that could work too. And Stealth Rock, you know, uh, that, that could be quite good there. And then you've got like Chilling Water, drop the attack, and then you've got Dragon Tail to phase him out and then roost off. You know, I think that'd be pretty good. Um, another move you could put on there. I had Light Screen on there. That's a you know, definite possibility you could... Uh, you could use there too. I don't think there's much else. Oh, it does get another trapping move, which is Fire Spin, but... Um, rapper's got more accuracy, so if, you know, if you're looking for it. Actually, that that wouldn't be bad either. So you got Bulldoze. That, oh, no, that's more utility, so you've got something to, uh, drop the opponent's speed. If they try and, you know, set up with a speedy Pokemon, you can always drop their speed and swap out or something like that. So lots of, like, utility options you can use for, uh, Dragonite. a very, very good Pokemon. Let me have a little bit more of a look here. Like, to look at everything. Oh, if you want a metronome Pokemon, there you go. You got that to use. Now, it does get Snowscape too, but I don't know if I'd set Snowscape out with Dragonite <laughs> because it is four times weak to ice. But if you really want to run on an ice team, you can. It does get lots of other uh, things like that. So you got like a... You also got stuff like uh, Helping Hands. You could make that bulky set I used before, but try and use it in double. So thinking something like this. So you got like Inner Focus... Mm, I go multi scales. You got Roost, Helping Hand. Now this is going to be like a full, full support set, right? We're going for full support. So you got multi scale leftovers. Um, I'd probably run defense on this if it was me for doubles. This is more double stuff. So let's go. Uh, let's go Impish. So we got uh, Helping Hand, Roost. Probably wouldn't bother about Terror at all. There'd be better things to Terror than a, a bulky support Dragonite. Uh, you've got some other options here. I mean, extreme speed wouldn't be bad. Like, if you just want some sort of damage and to go first. So, we'll go with that. And let's have a look at some other moves here. We've got body press. There you go. All right. So, we've got a way of hitting... That's actually not bad. Like, I know it's like super amazing, but it's more of like a support set. And with body press, it gives it some sort of presence to hit steel type Pokemon and for a decent amount of damage. And you've got extreme speed too there if you want to do a little bit of damage there, finish opponents off. And you might be able to trick them into thinking it's a, uh, you know, a full on physical attacker set. With helping hand, you can help out your partner and roost, you can roost off for your damage. I think that's pretty good there. I don't, I don't actually, uh, don't mind that set. That's quite good. Let's have a look at some more here. Okay, let's have a look at its special moves. So, I did go over probably its best special moves there. I did like the special rain set, and I did the. Oh, I think I, I think I might have removed that one, but the, uh, the other set there, the yeah, no, no, the special rain one was the one, and the um, eject pack one. Those were the two special ones that I would uh, recommend are the best there. But it does have some other fun stuff, like you could go to of like a full trolling set. This is kind of mean, but you, you could actually uh, use it. So, hmm, we could, like, multi scale uh, would probably be better. So, it does get air slash. So, if you really want, you could try and flinch the opponent. So, you've got tip and nature. And we want to, obviously, we want to be going first there. So, we'll give it like a, we'll make a special flinching set. I don't know if I can even do this. So, we've got one attacking move that does flinch. I think that's about it. Unless you've got twist. Okay, this is going to be a really, really trolling set. All right. So we've got Thunder Wave. Let's go Roost. That's perfect. Okay. All right. This is this is cruel. Okay. So all you have to do, right, is spam Air Slash and Twister on the opponent. If there is still, it probably is going to fail against a Steel type. Or it's going to take a very, very long time. So, yeah. This is going to be mean. So you paralyze them. Say if you take some damage, Roost off. And then you could go... You, matter of fact, you could even go um, in, instead of Twister. You could even go wrap on there. So wrap to trap them in and the air slash flinch. 
keeping them in there for five turn, four to five turns and paralyzing. So lots of little options you can do there for Dragonite. But I think I've done enough Dragonite sets. Uh, but, uh, you know, sort of circle back to competitive-wise here. Mostly these are the type of sets you're going to be seeing. Um, oh, let's let's suggest some, um, some counters. So probably some of the best counters to these Pokemon are Will-O-Wisp Pokemon. Um, let me let me give you some of them right now. So we've got Dragapult. Dragapult's very good there. Um, Sableye is another uh, another good one too. Um, you've got some other, you know, Skeledurge. Skeledurge is good because it's got Unaware. Um, that's quite good. Any Unaware Pokemon. Dondozo is another good one as well. Um, it can shut Dragonite down. So it does have its counters, but make sure you either you've got you know you need to have something like Unaware Pokemon or. Uh, Will-O-Wisp Pokemon to shut Dragonite uh, down. Otherwise, it's, it's going to sweep your team. So, mostly have... Or, or any priority moves there. But remember, it does have extreme speed. So, it has priority at the same time. So, unaware Pokemon. Uh, Will-O-Wisp uses uh, those types of things there. Um, if it's not running... If it's not running any, like, Earthquake, which most of the time it is, you might be able to get away. I'm um, just thinking a Levitate Pokemon let me have a look. I'm going for exact counters here. So, okay. Rotom. Bronzong is a very, very good counter. Actually, Bronzong is a fire counter because with Levitate, it can is immune to Earthquake and Extreme Speed is not very effective. So, that's a great counter. And, you know, it does have Gyro Ball and things like that to hit back with. So, Bronzong's not a bad counter there too. But, uh, yeah, those things I mentioned before. Unaware Pokemon, get a Will-O-Wisp Pokemon. Uh, you know, poison it, anything like that. Uh, Pranks of Poison, uh, Grafire, something like that. But, uh, you know, Bronzong, a Levitating Pokemon, Steel types that uh, have Levitate or you got a Terra Flying on them, something like that. There's, there's quite a few. But anyway, that's about it for uh, Dragonite. Once again, if you want to see any other Pokemon that aren't Gen, uh, aren't Gen 9 Pokemon, like uh, this is the very first one I've done, let me know in the comment section of the video. And yeah, I've done every single Gen 9 Pokemon. So check out the playlist and uh, that's about it. Peace out.